Now, Jeff, you're a bit of an adventure seeker, I think it's safe to say. Can you tell me how you got into all that? What started it all? Uh, yeah, people have called me an adrenaline junkie, and that's not really how I visualize myself. I'm more of a, a calculated risk taker. Um, but I do like things on the extreme. I do like things on the edge. Uh, for me, it all started when I was in my, in my military career. I was a U.S. Navy SEAL for over nine years, and it was a blast. Like a lot of things that I had liked to do as a kid, I just got to do and get paid for and also help protect this awesome nation uh, as a U.S. Navy SEAL. So to me, that was a great honor. And uh, after I got out, I just continued those hobbies out uh, into, the, into the civilian world. And you started in the military right after college, right? I did. My original plan was to go into the military after I graduated high school. But my parents uh, talked to me. We made a deal. And they said, you know, go to college first. At least get that underneath your belt. And then you can do whatever you want. And I did. I followed their advice. And I'm really glad that I did go to college first. I uh, went to Bowling Green State University, got my business pre-law degree. And then uh, that July, I was in OCS in Pensacola, Florida, going through um, the officer training program to, become an, uh, to then go to BUDS to become a Navy SEAL. Did your parents have a military background? No, my, my family really doesn't have a military background. Um, I think I had an uncle that was in like World War II for just like less than 90 days or something like that. But uh, the, the general job description of being a Navy SEAL was totally what I wanted. From like the get-go? I knew that I wanted to be a SEAL since I was about 12 years old. Uh, I went to a, a, an air show in Cleveland. Every year, my brother, my dad, myself went to the Cleveland air show. And um, it was almost to the point where, you know, we knew what, what the aerobatic acts were going to go on and their history. You know, we could like, oh, yeah, here we go again. Watch this from the left to the right. Um, and then we went to those big circus tents that so sell, like, die-cast models and T-shirts and all that. My brother went to go buy something. I remember looking up, and I saw this flag. And I was like, hmm. That sounds pretty cool. So I went over, threw down a couple bucks, got a flag, went back to my dad and said, hey, Dad, look at this. He goes, what is it? I'm like, I don't know. He goes, you better find out. So I read my first book on the SEALs, and I was in. So then what made you take that career and turn it into a, a career in film? Um, for me, I've always enjoyed Hollywood. I've always, you know, how did they do that? When I first went to college, I was supposed to get a degree in computer art, how to make the dinosaurs run across a screen type of thing. And Marcy, yeah. <laughs> and uh, then slowly after I got in the military, um, it evolved into being in front of the camera and not just being behind the camera. Because with you know, being physically active and doing all these extreme things, I didn't really want to sit in a room full of computers and servers as a job. I want to be at physically active, get out there. And so then just continued to, to do it in front of the camera, out, outdoors. And a lot of people hate to be um, typecast. But with you, I mean, with your background, obviously you're going to be, but that doesn't seem to be a problem for you. Uh, it depends what it is. Um, as long as I'm acting in front of the camera, you know, I've done a lot of military and a lot of police roles. And I'm fine with that because those are, those are very admirable careers that people in everyday life do. And a lot of people can relate to that. And if I have the ability to be on camera and act in the projects that are, I, I, I like and I want to help tell a story about, I'm all for it. What I mean, there's a lot of worse things you can be cast for, but usually there's a leading roles, and they're great roles. You get to be the hero. You get to be the bad guy. Um, there's a lot of versatility you can do in that, and I have no problem being typecast as long as I'm in front of the camera and acting. I, I like it. And you've done everything from Transformers to Days of Our Lives. Uh, what would you say is your favorite role that you've done? Oh, that's a good one. Um, you know, being on, being on the set of Transformers and Transformers 2, uh, run around these big multi-million dollar sets is fantastic. I mean, I had a chance to work on Michael Bay. I, lo I love his movies that he puts out. Run. No, it's, it's a lot of fun, and every day is like an action-adventure shoot. So, But then I've also done like webisode series, and as you mentioned, soap operas and nighttime TV commercials and video games. Every, every one has their own personality, and it's more the people that I get to work with and the crews that are fantastic that make me... Uh, really happy that, that I'm doing every day what I'm doing. So I don't know if it's the project, because projects come and go. You know, you work together for three months on like a big movie set or a couple of days shooting a TV show, and then, you know, it's time for the next one. But those relationships that you build with people, those are the things that get carried on uh, from project to project, and you maintain those as you, as you leave, and then you go to the next one. And that's really what it's about, is networking and, and, and people and every just everybody doing what they want to do and having fun doing it and getting paid to do it. You can't, you know, if you get, if you do something every day in which you, uh, which you love and you get paid for it, you're pretty, it's pretty good luck. So you just talked a bit about your commercial work. Um, I've seen one commercial that you've done for sure. It was about hot sauce. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. That's not a military character. No, not, not so at all. So how do you get into a scene like that? 
Um, I was fortunate. For that particular role, uh, a friend of mine who was in the military w with, uh, he flew, he was a pilot, he actually had gotten out, gone to USC graduate uh, film school, and then got booked to do a job, and it was that hot sauce commercial. And he said, I know a good guy that could be for this role. And it was great. That was a lot of fun. It was, it was actually kind of funny because the end, in the end of that commercial, um, the gentleman who's standing behind me on my right is the manager of the bar that we were using okay. and that I'm dumping water all over myself. Yeah. So there's like eight, nine pitches of water that are going all over his bar floor. And then the waitress that comes in, that was his girlfriend. So after I'm done dumping all this water all over his bar, I turn around and smack his girl on the ass. And I was like, I can't believe. And you just I'm, walked away smiling. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's, that's my job. Awesome. Great. Thank you. So now what's next for you? Uh, after this, I'm actually in the uh, process right now of writing and uh, selling two shows, two different networks. One is a awesome educational action adventure type um, series. And then the other one is a scripted drama, which if uh, you like action adventure, you're going to love that one. It's definitely got a great market for it, a market that's already built, and we're just infusing a new type of show into that. And we want to do it right. Everything we are doing, um, we're, we're researching it. We want to get the brands involved. We want to really make it true to heart to those people involved in that community. And then I go back, actually, I have a job. Uh, that I'm doing right after this. And I'm also in the process of, I just started my t-shirt line, uh, Shadowworks. So it's a American brand with infused with action, extreme adventure sports. And so I got a lot of my plate going on, but it's great, I love it. So if someone wants one of your t-shirts, how do they go about getting one? Well, uh, go to shadowworksclothing.com. It's uh, The website is being built right now, but look for it in the next month. And you'll be able to, to buy any one of our female or male shirts that represent America great and the uh, action adventure community. Great. Now, speaking of clothing, mm -hmm. I have one question that I sure. ask all of my guests. Okay. Um, it's about your socks. My socks? Yes. I have a thing about socks. I think that you can tell about a lot about someone's personality just by looking at their socks. Interesting. Um, I've never really uh, thought about that. Okay. Do you think about your socks when you're putting them on in the morning? Yes. And do you know which ones you put on this morning? Yes, I do. What are they? They are small, Oh, excuse me, not small. They're, they're black ankle socks. So they're, yeah, they're low cut because I, when I usually, if I wear shorts or not, I just want to have like the, it's like the footy kind of thing in my shoe and that's really it. And do they match? I think so. Yeah, they do. Okay. Today they do. Do they always match though? I try to. I'm kind of anal like that. When I take my laundry out, I got to have like the right brand with the right sock. So yeah, yeah, I take pride in that. Yeah, I do. Of course All I right. do. All right, there you go. I don't. That's why I have to really? ask. Really? What do you yeah. got on? I, uh, today I have a you sun, some um, rainbows and sun <laughs> on that one. All right. And on this one, it's see, rain. That, that would drive me crazy because they're really? not matching. Yeah. But there's always a method to my matching, like the rain and the rainbows. Oh, so you're like Gemini. You're like both sides. There you, you go. You play both sides. I do. That's kind of greedy. Maybe sometimes. Well, see, my, I'd be thinking, now, where's the other one of the pair? Well, it's matched with the other one. Oh, so you do have a little bit of a, there's, a system there's to There's always a system. Hmm. Okay. Fascinating. Thank you very I'm much. I'm going to start looking time. at people's socks now. Great. Thanks. You I have to. <laughs> You'll find a story. Anybody you talk to has a story about their socks. Well, I'm, no, great. I'm going to ask them. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet you. I Thank really you very appreciate much. It. Thank you.